Hello and welcome to another small update to Hairstrand Designer. This is version 1.27 and I have did a little bit of work on the visual feedback for generated maps. Um, so you'll see here when you first start uh, this version that two of the maps have been generated. So when you click on, on them uh, you'll see that it actually shows up green here. It says generated and exportable so you can click on this little icon here to export just the RGB mask if you want and same for the color map so you could click this and uh, it will come up a dialog asking you for the color map uh, plus the name uh, again make sure to save on, uh, in a folder that's not the same as the file uh, or the program itself because it will revert to moving it to app data uh, in the local folder under here, Strand Designer. So if you ever do that by accident, you can search there. Uh, a way to get there is to type in percent app data, percent, uh, go up to app data, go into local and look for here, Strand Designer, the, the version that you're working on. And it creates a folder and puts the files in there just in case you've done that and you can't find the files. Right, I covered that completely in a different uh, file uh, video anyway. So. Back to this, uh, how this works is when you make a change, you'll see that these default back to ungenerated but enabled. Okay, so the red ones mean they're not enabled. So you just click them to enable them. And once they're enabled, you have to click generate and then these will get generated and become green and exportable. You'll see in a second. So the more strands there is, the longer it takes. It looks like there's 324 strands, right? So it's done that and these are now exportable. Uh, you can click to do them one by one or you can click this to export all your maps uh, that have been generated. So you can do your RGB mask, then your normal color and mass. And what all that does is goes through each ones that have been generated and exportable instead of you clicking these ones. So in case you've maybe, you know, generated a few and come back and you want to generate other ones, it does that. As soon as you make changes, it will go back to being gray and it will give you this warning at the bottom. So if I click on this, it says Let RGB mask not currently generated or settings have changed. Please enable and click generate. So it's shown you the previous uh, generation of uh, this particular map. So these are now considered obsolete because you've made some changes here, right? You've you've moved these sliders around and made some changes. Um, so hopefully you've saved them out and just come back in. So you just generate again and it's going to generate new ones. Okay, so that pretty much wraps this video up and thanks for watching. Again, thanks for buying and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.